good day friends you are watching tax dosti videos and we'll be talking about reading palki sahab palki sahab was a legendary tax and constitutional lawyer of india and this is his book law and practice of income tax and we'll be reading briefly reading from some portions of this book the topic today we'll be discussing whether the tax law or the amendments passed in tax law are they constitutionally valid so according to palki sahab chapter 1 in order that the law imposing the tax is regarded as constitutionally valid it must first be examined whether the legislation that passed the law was competent to pass it or not secondly since a taxing statute is a law for the purpose of article 13 article 13 means article 13 of the indian constitution its validity can also be challenged on the ground that it contravenes any of the fundamental rights guaranteed by part 3 of the constitution so palki sahab is saying that in order to test whether a tax law has been is constitutionally valid or within the framework of the constitution it can be challenged on the basis of whether the legislator had the competence to pass it or not and the second criteria is whether it violates any of the fundamental laws so with regard to competence of the legislator to levy tax it is the duty of the courts to ascertain to what degree and to what extent the authority to levy tax exists in each legislature and to define the limits of the respective legislative powers so it means that the courts have to see be it the high court or the supreme court the courts have to see whether to what degree the authority to levy tax has been exercised by the legislature and what are the limits of their powers so this is the first thing on which you can challenge any tax law any tax amendment once a law in pith and substance a very important term pith and substance falls within the legislative entry incidental encroachment on any other on an entry in another list does not affect its validity meaning that if the substance of the tax law falls in one of the legislative entry when one of the legislative domain for example like income tax agriculture income corporate tax etc then the law is uh, the law is competent if the legislator had the power to pass the tax law under or within that domain on the other front and one more thing consistent with the above principle the word income occurring in entry 82 should be constructed liberally and in very wide manner and the power to legislate will take in all incidental and ancillary matter thus this entry should be read not only as authorizing the imposition of tax but also as authorizing an enactment to prevent evasion of tax or to provide for taxation on a presumptive basis or to provide for a vicarious liability so when we say that some legislator has the power to tax income the legislator not only has the power to tax income but also to enact laws to prevent evasion of tax or to tax on presumptive basis or on basis of vicarious liability this is a very famous case federation of hotel and restaurant association of india versus union of india now on the second benchmark of fundamental rights palki wala says article 14 provides article 14 of the indian constitution provides that the state shall not deny to any person equality before the law or the equal protection of laws within the territory of india the supreme court while laying down the principle to be applied in determining where a taxing statute violates the fundamental rights 
ruled that a taxing statute can be held to contravene Article 14 if it purports to impose on the same class of persons or property similarly situated an incidence of taxation that leads to obvious inequality. Just what happened in Section 7E of Income Tax Ordinance 2001 in Pakistan. The combined effect of these two decisions is to lay down intra alia the following basic propositions. It is for the legislator to determine the objects on which tax shall be levied and rates thereof. The courts will not strike down an act as denying the equal protection of law merely because other objects could have been but are not taxed by the legislature, for a state does not have to tax everything in order to tax something. The legislature is competent to classify persons or properties into different categories and tax them differently and if the classification thus makes its rationale, the taxing statute cannot be challenged merely because different rates of taxation are prescribed for different categories of persons or objects and if any if any taxing statute is found to contravene article 14 it would be open to courts to strike it down as denying to citizens the equality before the law guaranteed by the act article i am your tax host and tax host anthony williams and you were listening to reading palki walha sahab let's meet in the next video thank you very much